Hi guys, it's Claris, and today we're going to do a slightly more complicated tutorial on um, this right here. If you cannot tell what this is, this is a drawing of a, some sort of pastry puff thing with blueberries on it. Um, and because this is like a slightly complex drawing, I'm going to make this available as a download for you guys and the link will be posted below in the description. So look out for that. Um, just so you have a visual reference of what we're going to be painting, we're looking at something like this. I know I'm getting slightly ambitious and I'm really hoping I can pull this off. So again, as per usual, this is going to be a first try for me. I figured it would be fairly easy because we got the blue, we got a lot of white, which we could kind of highlight with some yellow uh, or some brown. Uh, then you have two little areas of brown and then the rest is pretty much the same. So let's see what we do for, or what I come up with rather. For brushes, I am going to be using my squirrel mop brush, the um, silver black velvet in the four. And I will also be using the Neptune number eight, which seem to be my go-tos off late. Uh, for colors, I'm just using my St. Petersburg, um, two variations of blue, two browns, the lighter browns, um, and then I have a black on standby just in case. I might not use it, but just in case, um, maybe for the highlighted areas of where the blueberries are a lot darker. So we'll see. Um, okay, so let's begin. Uh, once again, sorry, I cannot give you the names for these colors. I know some of you have mentioned it would be helpful to have the right color names, but guys, sorry, I just don't have the names for them, and yeah. So, okay, so let's start. I am going to start off with doing the uh, the cream bit off um, this drawing, and then from there I have a base idea of where the blueberries go. So to start off for the cream, I'm going to be using my my squirrel mop brush and I'm just going to be doing a light layer of water on here, just covering the area and dampening it, making sure I don't touch the blueberry area, which is why I kind of have this drawing. So gives me an idea of what goes where. So to begin with, I'm just going to do a small portion and then try this, try and see how this, uh, uh, the application for the yellow works. And I just have a bit of yellow on here. You could, I guess, no, I was gonna say you could use the brown, but there's too much, like it would, come out too dark so I would just use a very faint yellow to kind of highlight the areas and me let's let's just see how that works out so I just want it to be very faint just so we have an idea that oh there is cream on here and I've wet the area previously just so it's not like very blunt looking yellow, but just more of a smooth blend of the yellow. And this is how it's turning out. I don't mind it too much, but it looks a little too yellowy in my opinion. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go ahead and use some of the brown and possibly just mix that in the yellow that I have going there. And let's see what we get with that. Now using this brush, I'm just gonna try and smoothen out more water along as I go. 
and using my image for reference I'm just doing highlights of the brown to show and indicate shadow based on what I see so really a lot of this is checking your image to make sure you do have you're kind of following it not to the T because this will be a very loose painting drawing off um, this dessert but you know just so you have something at least down pat so the next thing I will do after doing this I like how that's turned out you know what since we have the colors already on hand let's just do the cream in the middle as well and so for that I will just once again dampen the area that's needed and then just go in with the yellow brown mix that we have going on and this time I'm just going to do it at the edge between the uh, the um, biscuit sort of thing that we have going on there or the puff I think it's a cream puff guys I'm not quite sure any bakers out there let me know in the comments what this is because it looks yummy and while I am baker by name it's literally by name only I don't know <laughs> what this yummy looking delicious thing is all right now I'm just going to do the bottom half of it and then we are good to move on to the rest my drawing skills are really being put to the test with my recent um, my recent tutorials let me know what you guys think of it I'm still pretty rusty from uh, not drawing all these years so bear with me um, okay so just doing the last few again I'm referencing my image while I am jabbering to you guys and making sure I got not all the areas, but some areas covered to give that nice light creamy look. All right, so now that we're done this, I am going to go ahead and do the fun part of this now, which is going to be the brown. So for the brown, I don't want it to be too intense. I want to be really light and then if I want it to be darker, then I can go in and get more brown. So I'm just gonna swipe some from here and mix it on my palette. And it's fine if it kind of mixes with that yellow, it might just pull and act really well with the yellow that we have for the cream. So now that I have my brown, I'm going to go in and color in the area where the brown is. And so that's, yeah, that's it that's that's okay get a little bit from there and I'm just layering it on and the areas where it's tight I just want to make sure I don't go overboard and keep some white in there as well and now that I have an idea of what is going where I'm just gonna go and get more of the saturated brown I should have used the other it's okay and then just add that in here and here because that's where the shadow is and if you feel like the blend is not happening as well the possibility is because there's too much water on your brush or on the sheet so you might want to dab that out um, I 
adding some over here as well and just letting that blend nicely and then there's a taking out all that color from there because this actually extends down here so I'm just gonna let that end there and make sure you have your paper towel handy so you can just dab if there are certain areas that have too much Alright, and now I'm just going to make sure I spread this on. Oops. This is the thing with the squirrel mop brush. It has, it absorbs so much water and it's pretty amazing that way, but you just have to be extra diligent and careful when you're applying water or color in case you don't want it to be too intense. So I'm just going to use my Neptune from now on for those areas of dark. Um, yeah, what was I doing? So I'm just going to take that and just add some detail. Adding some extra shadow. Maybe try and make some of this brown. Adding some shadow here too. And then just using this to smooth out the color. Just very tiny detail here so I'm not going too overboard. Again, you're referencing your image that you have. And that's really a good reference for you as you're painting. So that's good and now I'm just gonna let that dry a bit. Actually before I let it dry I'm just gonna go in with this brown that I have and I'm going to do little dots because the um, the image has some texture of like little dots on on the pastry bit. So I'm just going to add a few. You could even use your spray method um, and spray some on. That would work as well. I know I normally like to do the spraying but um, just to try something different I'm just going to add some of these instead just to see how it goes. And this is just giving it that extra texture to make it look like a pastry. And I'm almost wondering if I add a little bit of black to the edges just a tiny bit how would that look let's try since this is still damp only because it is still damp too much water and very lightly Not bad. All right, gonna move on to the bottom half of the pastry, and I'm just dampening that area.
And now using this brush, I'm going to go in, get some of my brown, and I will do a nice spread of that. And I'm just going to swish the color around. And I want to leave some white space too, so I'm not going to cover the whole entire area with it. So leave it that way. And now I'm going to go in and do some dabbing. By dabbing I mean because it's damp and we have a light shade, I'll just do a trail like so. And you're literally just taking extra color on your brush and just doing a light swoosh to kind of get just certain areas highlighted. Because it's damp, it's got that nice flowy effect as well going on. And then uh, I think that's good. You can add some texture to it. Because if you look, again, if you look at it, the there's certain texture that it's got here and there. And color variations and so now I'm just gonna wait for no actually before I wait for it to dry I'm gonna do my little dot thing that I've been doing and it's got a few dots with less water so, you, so the dots are more prominent guys and And this has a prominent like division of the pastry so I added that there and then there's some here as well and then just some at the bottom and see because it's damp it allows you to give it some texture and detail in those areas that it's damp and it does a nice pull of color so it's important that the area is still damp when you're doing this bit so just keep that in mind and now I'm just gonna go in and do some of the black just because it's got some darker shades of brown at the top so just want to keep that consistent look Ooh, see this this is already what's the word I'm looking for it's already dried up at the top a little bit I think but just make sure that it's very light so it doesn't overpower and then leave it as that it looks a little extra dark to me but let's just see how it dries up it might just work out in our favor I don't know guys let's see alternatively I can just go ahead and swoosh it out so it doesn't get too 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 dark using my brush something like that you guys can tell me what you think of this after I'm just going to use some of the same brown as well and just get some detail in there while it is still damp because the detail will make this piece So while this is like a loose painting, it's also, you got to give it at least some detail just so it doesn't get completely lost in translation as to what it is. And now for the fun part, uh, which is the blueberries. So for the blueberries, like I mentioned, I'm going to be using two different kinds of blues. I will be starting off with the darker one darker looking one 
and I will use my I'll use the number eight and the number four for applications and so I just have to be extra diligent on that guys so for the blueberries it'll be getting some on the brush and I'm just going to mix it on the side is that the blue I needed let's just apply it and see so it's the light color and I'm just applying it on and you can leave certain white areas to indicate um, shadow light and then at the edges I'm going down and giving it a darker blend and then at the top I'm gonna leave a bit of white and just paint in the center like that so I'm leaving the outer circular white area a bit and I'll only touch certain areas off it so the color seeps in kind of like that and then you have that nice shadow effect and then the other areas where it seems to have been dried or gotten dried I'm just gonna pull the color down just so it's not too light the blueberries are supposed to be darker but then you have that white look to it where it's where it looks like it's dry I think I think so yeah so that's how you do the blueberries I'm just gonna do a few more in a few different ma like ways so this one already has a lot of blue on it and I'm just going to hold down my and spread the blue and now I'm going to get some water and I'm going to do the center And again, get, getting a more saturated blue while this is still damp. I'm just going to add some at the bottom. And this is where I was contemplating adding some black is for the centers. If, if the centers were not going to look too, too, um, too much of a contrast between the, the dark blue and the rest. I was just going to add a little black. So this is me adding some black. Let's see how that turns out and if we should add the black or not. I've just added some black there and I'm just going to add some black at the bottom too to reflect the same darkness. So this is what that would look like. I don't know what you guys think. If you prefer this method, then I say add the black. If you don't, then I say don't add the black. So the choice is yours. So I'm just going to go ahead and do these blueberries. And for the sake of this video, I will make this a time lapse. So I'll be right back, guys. Alright, so this is how it's turned out guys. What do you guys think? 
Let me know in the comments what you're thinking. Um, I'm just going to add some shadow and then we are done. Uh, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, but I'm sure I will hear from you guys in the comments. So please let me know what you think. Um, I think it turned out fairly good. Let's just finish the um, shadowing and then see, take a step back and kind of see how it is. So for the shadow, I will use some black so it looks like a gray. And uh, this is how I will be applying the shadow. I'll just be doing, I might make some brown in it too, just so it's not too harsh. So I'm gonna be using um, this to apply some water at the bottom and making sure that there isn't a lot of water on my brush. I'm just going to, I've tapped it onto my, um, paper towel and now going in with this I just want to check and see that it's not too bright I'm just gonna go in and add the shadow you guys have seen me do shadow previously right like I just like to dampen and then I go in with the color and then it gives you that nice blending look to it. Um, there's a shadow right here for the I like that guys. It's turning out quite nice. And then there's another shadow here. And then you might want to just go in with slightly like or a second layer of shadow just at the tips to differentiate and just add a little more depth. You might or you might not. It's totally up to you. And what else, what else, what else? Just going to spread that. Um, what was I thinking? Oh yes, shadow around the blueberries on the cream. So you just need a tiny bit of shadow just to kind of give it that extra bit of realness, I guess, to it. You know, it's supposed to be like a loose painting. So I'm just going in with the same kind of gray and I'm just highlighting certain areas based on the image. So again, it's nice if you have the image, guys, so you can use it as a reference. And then that just helps you along with things. because these blueberries are folded into the um, cream. So that's why they have slightly different shadow compared to the others. That's why I added a little bit of extra dark lines there. Not sure if I needed it, but you know, I did use it. And let's see, I think there's some on the top here as well. We're just looking at just, 
a tad here and there around the blueberries again. So it really looks like it's sinking in into the cream, I mean. I really enjoyed doing these blueberries on that time lapse. Um, I find it relaxing, just blending. I think blending any kind of colors and watching them seep into one another is a relaxing chore. And I think that's where the therapeutic bit of watercolor comes in, just the satisfaction of watching the colors blend in is something nice. And let's see, do I need any shadow anywhere else? Still kind of just touching up here and there. One here. If you feel like you need another layer of, um, like to go over shadow with another layer of the gray then absolutely go ahead uh, I don't want to give it too too much detail because then it defeats the purpose of this is supposed to be a loose painting so yeah so anyway so guys this is my rendition of the dessert what do you guys think uh, let me know in your comments and thanks so much for watching. I will have this, like I said, I'll have this drawing uh, available as a download so you guys can trace it before painting. And um, yeah, follow me on social media. I am there on Instagram and Facebook. I love hearing from you guys, love reading your comments, love seeing everything that you guys try out that I've put out there. So thanks again so much for watching, guys, and we will chat soon. Bye.